Good morning. We have reached the mountaintop, the summit, the apex, the biggest day of the academic year. All of those late nights in the library, all of those late nights that you spent studying and not going out and partying pay off today with a diploma from the number one associate degree granting institution in the state of New Jersey. Good morning, everybody. I am Dr. Larry Lavanka, and I am your party host for commencement 2023 here at MetLife Stadium. So think about that for a moment. MetLife Stadium, it's a place where dreams happen, right? The New York football giants, the New York Jets, WrestleMania, Bruce Springsteen, Taylor Swift, and the list goes on and on and on. But today, the main event, if you will, are the Bergen Community College graduates. It is a big venue for a big day, and there is no bigger day than what we will celebrate today for our graduates. So let's set the scene a little bit. Like we said, we are here at MetLife Stadium. This is the college's 54th commencement. It is our eighth at MetLife Stadium, and we are very happy to be here. Do you know where we used to be? We used to be across the parking lot at the IZOD Center. Now, for some of you, you may not re even remember the IZOD Center because it's been shuttered for some time, but before that, it was the Continental Airlines Arena and even the Brendan Byrne Arena. Before that, that's where we used to have our commencement. Before then, we had our commencement on campus, but I'm happy to say we have outgrown our beautiful, palatial 167 main acre campus in Paramus uh, because we just have more graduates. As I said before, we are the number one degree granting associate degree college in the state of New Jersey, and that is something that we are very proud of that, and our graduates today will join that very elite company of graduates from Bergen Community College. So what else are you gonna see today? Of course, there is a lot lot of pomp and circumstance. This is commencement. It's the biggest day of the year. So what does all that mean? We're going to be led by a grand marshal, Professor Dallas Gray. This is actually his, uh, his swan song, if you will, his capstone achievement of his many, many year career at Bergen Community College. In serving as the grand marshal, he will lead the processional today. He will place the ceremonial mace at the lectern uh, that you will see at the head of the stage. And then he will begin calling the various people, right? He'll call in the platform guests. Those are our VIPs, people like the president of our institution, the eighth president of Bergen Community College, Dr. Eric M. Friedman. We also have a lot of the county officials here today. County executive Jim Tedesco is here. We have vice chair Jermaine Ortiz here today, who by the way, used to be a Bergen Community College trustee as well. So call out for Jermaine there. Other platform guests include our keynote speaker, Megan Lee. She is the CEO of Panasonic North America. Pretty cool to have the CEO of one of the world's great technology companies. You know, I could get into the fact that I had this great Panasonic plasma years ago that is still in my parents' basement, by the way, but that's for another time. We're talking about commencement today. We're not talking about that. But Panasonic CEO of North America, Megan Lee, she is here and she will deliver the keynote address. Who else is part of the platform party? We have our valedictorian. Do you know what the valedictorian is? The valedictorian is the number one graduate in the class of 2023. She has a 4.0. She is a wonderful student. Her name is Mana Miz Mana. Mm, I'm going to say this again. Mana Medizade. She is here, and she is the best student in the class. She's the valedictorian. She will deliver remarks as the valedictorian, as the top student in the class. So then you have our platform party, right? We move off the platform party, and then we welcome in all of our faculty and staff who are marching in today's uh, procession as well. And then finally, we'll get to the graduates, and there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. In the class of 2023, there's 2,095 in all, which includes students that graduated in August and December, and of course, those that are graduating in May as well. 2,095 in the class. Not all of them will be here today. We understand that. But we do expect more than 1,000 graduates to uh, join this, like I said before, big party, this big celebration for a big day. Now, who is in the class of 2023? Uh, pretty amazing when you really think about it. I said Mana before. Our valedictorian had a 4.0. Well, 
there were 70 other students who had 4.0 GPAs as well. Pretty incredible when you consider it, right? I mean, I was a pretty good student in school. I did not have a 4.0 GPA. So it's uh, very special for the students here, 70 of them that are uh, of that distinction. A lot of those students are part of the Judith K. Wynn School of Honors. Uh, they are here as well. Uh, 16 Turning Point students. That is a terrific program for students with intellectual disabilities. They are graduating today as well with certificates of achievement uh, and they are preparing to enter the workforce and it is just such an exciting day for them as well. This last one, you may not even realize it and that's why I'm gonna tell you, but the point is, there are 140 high school students. Yeah, you heard me right, high school students who are actually graduating today with associate degrees. That's through our wonderful dual enrollment program, the Applied Technology High School that operates out of our main campus in Paramus. So there are, believe it or not, high school students here today that will earn their associate degree before they earn their high school uh, degree next month, which is, I mean, that is just incredible. Talk about getting a great head start on a college education that they will then transfer those credits to some of the nation's wonderful schools, which, Let's talk about that. Some of our graduates are going to be going to the most prestigious schools in the entire country. We've had graduates go to every Ivy League institution. Name them all, Yale, Princeton, Harvard. Uh, although, I'll say this, my, my wife went to Yale, okay? So Yale always comes first in that, uh, in that lineup. So that's for my wife there. But they're going to Ivy League schools. They're going to NJIT. They're going to Rutgers. They're going to Montclair. We've had students go to Cal Berkeley. The point is, folks, this is going to be another incredible class of graduates transferring to some of the best schools in the nation. That says nothing of the students that will immediately enter the workforce. Remember, we have a lot of students in the health professions, and my goodness, where would we be without the health professionals during the last few years? Nurses and respiratory technologists and so on and so on, they bailed us all out during the pandemic, right? We will have a ton of those graduates today, and they'll be in a doctor's office probably tomorrow uh, if they've already earned their pins and passed their, their board. So uh, just a terrific group of graduates here today. So what else? What else is commencement about? Commencement is also about all of you, right? Because although we have all of these graduates and we have this wonderful pomp and circumstance today, it's about the parents. It's about the uncles and aunts and nieces and nephews and children and grandparents, all of you helped your graduates get here today. So as much as it is about them, today is about you too, because you made a difference in their life and I know that they sincerely appreciate everything that you've done for them. So we're coming to the end here of this pre-show and you know, it's a, uh, we're at MetLife Stadium, which what do they do, right? They play football here. It's time for kickoff, right? They get ready for kickoff and then the event starts. I'm the last voice you're gonna hear before we kick off commencement 2023. I wish you all a great day. The sun is shining at a big event, the most important of the entire year. I wish your graduate the best, but I think it's time to kick off. Let's go class of 2023.